because it's really good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm finding a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of things I've been doing not quite as efficient as I, as I should be. Mm. Um, I've been I've been uh, sort of playing with my data at an SQL level, creating views and then linking to the views, and I guess seeing the power of actually bringing all that data into Excel and then doing the, the crunching in Excel. I'm, I'm kind of limiting myself by, by doing that in SQL and just bringing a view in. If I ever want to change something, I've got to go and recreate a new view or something like that. So that's probably the biggest thing I've, I've taken away is that Excel can do the work that I've been doing in another application. I can sort of cut that out of my workflow now. So that'll, that'll dramatically speed things up for me. Yeah, I think it's a lot of people know Excel more than they know the SQL stuff as well, so mm. it's more transferable for other yeah, people. That's right. Yeah, at mm. the moment, if I give someone a dashboard and they want to change something, they, they can't. can't. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Good. What I really like about this is big companies always tend to go for the flashier solutions, which at some point in time get derailed mm. because it's too expensive or we don't have enough data. And I think this is a really good way to show you can make make really nice flashy dashboards that look very sexy, that look that fit the business requirements without having to immediately spend millions of dollars getting mm. and I won't mention brands, but getting um, snazzy dashboard solutions in. So you can start with Excel which tends to be under rated by most people because they just think, oh no, it's all data, it's all tables. It's I think starting to shift to actually thinking now we can do high level dashboards that will give you what you want first without having to spend that and then when you're ready let's move to the mm. snazzy version. So it, mm. it empowers the people and the company. Well anybody can use yeah. Excel can't they? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's what I like about it. Yeah. 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 But I, I do think it's good that um, every time someone's come up with a question he's been able to provide an answer or mm. um, give an example and follow through with um, explaining how, how something works. Mm. So I was quite impressed that but no matter, almost no matter what questions people throw at him, he, he has the answer. There's been some curly ones, hasn't there? I think it's good. I think one of the most valuable things is probably reinforcing that point by stepping back and designing the dashboard outside of Excel. Mm. So you, know, you get the data and just jump straight in and you're trying to... It's tempting, isn't it? To turn it's all over the place and without building the structure first, it's just yeah. it's not worth doing nearly. So I think that's been a really good you know, learning mm. point. And, just thinking about that a bit more. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's good. It's, it's, uh, the course itself is at a level where you, know, you, you start thinking about applications for it straight away. So I'm finding that everything that Change is teaching us that I'm, um, I'm going, oh, I know where I can fit that in. I know where I can fit that in. I don't know, by the looks of it, this has been I'm going to have to redevelop the whole dashboard that I've got at the moment. But, you know, I can see that there's, there's opportunities there to make it a lot more user efficient. And so there's a lot of stuff there that, we can, that I can change in our dashboards to, to, um, to make them more effective and, and deliver a message a lot better than what we've got at the moment. And so at the moment we've just got a sheet that goes out with 10, 12 graphs on it, a couple of tables and you're scrolling down. And, um, well, I think we can deliver a lot smarter now. It's great. Mm.